All right, renporcio.topvelocity.net. We're going to be looking at biomechanical movement of hip abduction adduction. So, you know, pretty simple. This is the movement here. Adduction is it moving down or back towards the body. Abduction is moving away. So, but there's challenges here when you're measuring it. The best thing about using, um, actually, you know, using 4D motion is when you go into the hip angles here, it's giving you the green check for right hip abduction, adduction. It's saying at 27 degrees. Now, you think that that probably doesn't look like 27 degrees. It looks more like 50 something, but it's based on the hip position. You can see the hip is, is moving into a side bend, which is obviously ideally what you don't want to do. I, I did this, I have very tight hips, so it was hard for me to do that. As you can see, when it comes across, we're getting 24 degrees of adduction um, and then when it goes all the way up at its peak, we're at like 28 degrees of hip abduction. So it looks like a lot more, it's because of that hip is tilting to the side. So to see what I'm talking about, basically bring in the tools. Look at these, look at the drawing tool. And you can see that when, when the hips are at this position, the hips are cocked to the side like this. Uh, when they're feet down, it's more like this. So what's happening is this swiveling up is changing, uh, you know, working against the measurements here. So if we look at pretty much here's the leg and then here's the center of mass of the hip, We're really looking at this measurement here, which was close to, was like 28 or something like that. Okay, so, and why is this important? So with pitching, um, throwing, um, hitting, it's important to getting momentum going. Uh, more abduction, more we can, specifically for pitchers, you can start to stride and generate momentum. So pitching is gonna be obviously more uh, higher demand in abduction uh, than it is gonna be in just throwing in a, in a shorter stride or hitting specifically. So this is gonna be a very important component for pitchers to allow them to build a good long explosive stride. So. Let's look at that. All right, for example, with this picture here, you know, this guy isn't a big, or in, he, I mean, he is a driver, but not in this throw. This throw is about 88 miles an hour. He was just going nice and easy. But still, you can see coming out of leg lift how much hip abduction he is using uh, to build momentum. So if we look at that graph again, we can see he's at 25 degrees. Okay, so he's pretty much going a little bit where I was at that point. Now, like I said, this isn't at a high intensity for him. We'll have other guys that are, could go potentially into the 40s as they move their hips more forward and down at the same rate. So this is an important piece because you're gonna find low velocity guys who wanna kinda collapse on the back leg. They won't get a lot of this. So, you know, we're obviously looking at this range right here, okay, and if, this pitcher continued to load the hips to here, then the femur would be even farther back and then that duction angle would be a lot more. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for guys that really can get into a lot of abduction because potentially it allows the drive leg into a, get into a good alignment uh, in a linear position. So when it initiates drive, that force goes forward, goes through hip rotation good things happen. So we are really looking for a good amount of abduction. I'm looking for 45, 50 degrees of abduction if we're really going to get into a good loaded, a linear back leg position. But if we see those pitchers that don't do that well, um, for example, they, they keep that leg internally rotated, okay, uh, this way then they're not gonna have any abduction. And that's a collapsing leg. That's gonna be very common of low velocity pitchers. Let's look at a low velocity pitcher doing that. All right, we can see in this picture, this low velocity pitcher collapsing back leg pretty quickly and not getting into that abduction. So if we look at the graph going to hip angles, you can see that green check, it's already in adduction. And then that knee goes down right before leg drive only into 15 degrees. So you can, I mean, you can see it without the graph that there's really not any, if any, uh, hip abduction allowing 
this you know at this angle here you know there's some from here to there but ideally we're looking for it to get out here with the leg uh, holding what we call torsion getting a good amount of hip abduction maybe close to that 40 45 degree mark um, is what really what we're looking for